First at four, an urgent search for a missing young mother in Manassas Park. Mamta Koffelbot disappeared on July 31st. Since then, police have been investigating what happened to her. Thank you for joining us. I'm Simone D'Alba. And I'm Larry Miller. Friends and family have already started independent searches for the woman near her home. Our Matt Gregory joining us live at the Manassas Park Police Headquarters. Matt, we understand that the group right behind you is already gathered. Yeah, Larry, they just wrapped up and what we basically did is we put our mic out so we could hear what they were saying. We have their concerns, you know, there are lots of different, you know, emotions that are coming out now heightened because we haven't had a lot of answers really from Manassas Park Police. In fact, I just stepped out of the, their headquarters about an hour ago. I asked, is there any updates to the case, to the missing persons case? They said they let us know, they give us an alert, but so far nothing. But let me show you what it looks like here right now. As you can see, there's dozens of people gathered here and they're all asking for different uh, things, right? Number one, they want answers from police. Number two, they want to know where the investigation stands. Number three, they want to know what is the latest that people know about Mamta before she uh, went missing. So I've been here all day and it's been a kinetic situation to say the least. Things are happening by the second, by the moment here. We got here because friends and family started to search in a park, Blooms Park, which is near where she lives. I was told by one of her friends that's one of her favorite parks to go in. So they were searching through there independent, nothing from police that sa said that she might be there or that there might be anything that would be a clue there, but they were just searching, hoping. At the same time we went to her home today, we just happened to stop by and we saw detectives going into the house. Uh, we don't know what they were doing. A, a, um, one of the witnesses at the scene there told us, hey, you know, they, they walk, came in about noonish and were in there for about an hour conducting some form of the investigation. Don't know what that looks like, but I want to give you some heads up on a timeline here. Basically, as you can see, people standing here, different signs. They want Mamta to come home. I want to give you a heads up on the timeline. July 31st, that's the last time anyone saw her. That's what we've been told. August 2nd is when her employer had a welfare check at the home. And by the 5th is when her husband, I'm told by police, uh, reported her missing. And at this point, it is now a, uh, a missing person's uh, case, but of an involuntary circumstance, meaning they don't believe she went missing on her own. That's all Manassas Park Police will tell us. So as you can tell, you know, this is wrapping up now. People are just kind of talking and congregating, but take a listen to the heightened emotions and the answers people want from police just about a half hour ago. Listen up. Thank you for, uh, you know, like uh, uh, what you are doing community and then please keep doing and then just I need like your help in a all positive way. Just keep doing what you are doing and then in a positive way just help us in this tough time. And she's been lost since July 31st. Where? How? When? What clothes has seen worth? Did you have any information to, to provide us to the public? No one here wants to or is trying to hinder an active investigation. Everyone here wants an update and wants to know what is it going to take for us to find her to bring her home. Now that was State Senator Danica Rome right there. She has shown up here to speak uh, about, you know, what she's trying to do for the investigation. But the first person you heard from there, that's Mamta's husband. And he was here with their daughter, 11 month old. You could see him speaking there saying that he wanted the community to know that they are, he's appreciative of their thoughts. A couple of notes while we've been here. Uh, there's been heightened emotions, as you can imagine, with a situation with a mother missing without any real response from Manassas Park Police about where the investigation stands. And it seemed to get heated just before you came to us. And that was sort of when Senator Rome, uh, or State Senator Rome, decided that it was time to to sort of cool tensions and the press conferences since dissipate. You can see people are just congregating, you know, praying, hoping, at looking for answers. And every now and then you'll see people step inside the police station asking for just an update, anything, any shred of Mamta. We're going to be here throughout the afternoon and we'll have something coming up at about six o'clock to give a better idea of just what it looks like here and what we saw when we went to the home today that we hope you'll stick around with uh, us to see coming up at six o'clock. But for now, Manassas Park, Virginia, Matt Gregory, back to you. Matt, I appreciate this. There is a GoFundMe as well. The family has. They're raising money for things like flyers, safety gear, whistles for the search parties, and we really appreciate you bringing us up to speed on the very latest, and of course, we're hoping for the best here. Matt, thank you.